copy anyone. I probably wasted hundreds of dollars on them. <laughs> 6 and 21. Does that sound weird? Is that crazy? I know I'm gonna use it. Hello everyone, my name is Rachel from the blog Budgets and Kale and today we're going to talk about souvenirs and how you can get the best budget souvenirs, even frugal souvenirs, what kinds to get, things not to do, all things souvenirs. And the reason I'm thinking of this is that I got back from a recent overnight trip with my mother-in-law and a couple of other family members and I bought a couple of things there that were souvenirs but were they really souvenirs? And we're gonna get, before I start this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other budget-related content, all the grocery hauls, healthy living tips, and more. Thanks. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about souvenirs. So first of all, I'm sure there are people out there that think no souvenirs are worth it ever. And I'm kind of with you, but also kind of not. I personally love sentimental things that I can see and use that remind me of really good trips and memories that I have with my family or loved ones or friends or things like that. But souvenirs are a place that you can easily go overboard or buy total, complete junk. Before I get on my high horse, I just have to admit that I had a huge shot glass collection. I started collecting shot glasses as souvenirs when I was about six years old and got them from everywhere. I mean, all my friends knew this. People would get them for me. And looking back, I just, I shake my head at myself because one, no one needs that many shot glasses and they're seriously ugly to display. They don't look nice. I really like simple and pretty decor. Random, very gaudy shot glasses aren't that. Well, my shot glass collection is like, a total of two now and they're for measuring out drinks. So if you're gonna get a souvenir, make sure that it's something you will actually use and something that you needed. So it's really not that crazy to think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two things that I most recently got on this overnight trip. This is something I wasn't looking for. I didn't expect to find but was so excited when I did and it is this jewelry dish. It's this handmade ceramic. Look how beautiful that has been been pressed into and look how cheap it was you guys I have been looking for a cute little ring dish at like home goods and TJ Maxx for a long time and I've never found one that I thought was like really pretty or anything and the irony is that the day that I found this and bought it we had to actually leave the house late to take this trip because I lost my wedding ring yeah, so <laughs> my husband was pretty happy when I was like, hey dear, I actually found a jewelry dish, so hopefully we don't lose my ring again. <laughs> so that was really perfect timing. The other thing I ended up picking up on this trip was totally at just a random shop, and it's not gonna seem like anything special, and that was this necklace chain. It was actually in the sale section, and it was $10, and it came with this little extra necklace thing, which I mean, I actually thought was really cute and I wore it for the rest of the weekend. But the main thing was that I just wanted this chain and I found it and I bought it. And it also was cheaper than what I was going to buy online anyways. So that was an added bonus. Do either of these tell you where I visited? No, they're, they're souvenirs for me. I know where these came from. They have a sentimental place for me. It was a really fun, special little trip, but now I have something that's useful that I get to see that is beautiful and I love it. I do have one more example of something that I actually needed at the time, um, and it is from something that's a little bit more touristy, but this is a now very dingy um, white cap from my husband and my honeymoon trip. So this is from Harrison's Cave in Barbados. I ended up picking this up because I had just lost my previous white hat. I had been really bummed about that. I just wanted a simple white cap. And sure, if you read it, this says Harrison's Cave Barbados. But honestly, when it's like on someone's head, do you really look at it? No, you just see that it's like this little patch with an emblem on it. Another suggestion of different souvenirs you can get that are typically a little more affordable as well are consumable items that you would have bought anyways, but are maybe a little bit nicer while you're traveling. So a big example I could think of of this was coffee. Coffee or teas or things like that that you would drink and buy anyways. This is a bag of KBC Kaladi Brothers coffee from my hometown of Anchorage, Alaska. And if you guys didn't know that, I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska. That's where I'm from. So my wonderful mother sends me KBC coffee a lot. If you ever get up to Alaska, make sure you go to Kaladi's. Seriously, you have to go to Kaladi's. I would do anything to have a soy Irish cream latte right now. Seriously, <laughs> anything. In the past, I've also gotten coffee from other places. I mean, 
one place that comes to mind is if you're in Hawaii, Kona Coffee, hello. But if you go to her and there's a local roastery, is that the right word, roastery? <laughs> Whatever you call that you could maybe try a local coffee from them and it would be something that you would use anyways and then you'd have that special memory. Another common thing that I get, and this is kind of like gross looking, <laughs> is soap. So I don't have any that are fully packaged to show you guys, but I love buying bars of soap from places. Does that sound weird? Is that crazy? I feel like that's a very budget frugal thing to do. If I find local small businesses that have locally made soaps, I love getting a bar of soap to bring home because I know I'm gonna use it. It's it's soap. It'll go in my shower and I'll use it up till it's gone. And personally, my recommendation is to go with soap over things like body lotions or candles because those are harder to use up. This is a very, very old container from Lush and inside of here is a little bar of soap that is pretty used up. Uh, and I got this from a trip that I took with my kiddos down to a fun little fair thing and I use it and I have that memory from being there with them. I can already hear it now but you're gonna use it up, it's gonna be gone. That is true. The consumable things that you use, they will be gone. However, they will still spark the memories for you in the meantime while you're using them, and it's definitely better than some cheap trinket that's in the back of your closet. I hope this video gives you guys some ideas of things that you might wanna consider looking for if you're souvenir shopping or have a trip that's upcoming. I would love if you would please comment down below what your favorite kind of souvenir has been that you've purchased, maybe one that you use. Or maybe tell me if you have a lot of that junk sitting around because no judgment, I've been there too. My doorbell just rang, guys. I will be right back.